Well, welcome to day one of our 30 days of prayer. We're very excited that you have chosen to accept our invitation, along with many other people, to come together on a daily basis over the next 30 days for the purpose of prayer. My name is Pastor Mark, and I'll be with you today and on a few other days in the month ahead, where I will be able to lead you on a daily basis through a time of reading a scripture passage, offering a little bit of reflections upon that passage, and then leading you in a time of prayer at the end before you go to your personal time of prayer. That's why we're referring to these short videos that will be released every morning by 8 a.m. on our website as prayer primers because we're here to prime you to come into a time of prayer on your own and we honestly believe that through the messages happening Sunday morning through these prayer primer videos and through your growing prayer life that God is going to do amazing things in your life in your home in your church and even in the community around you And not just for the next 30 days, but I believe that he can actually help you to establish a foundation, a a habit of prayer in your life that goes beyond these next 30 days. So, let's get started with the very first prayer primer. And today, we're going to start by looking at a passage found in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 13 through 14, that reads like this. Everything exposed by the light becomes visible. And everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper. Raise from the dead, and Christ will shine upon you. Wake up! It's a phrase that we find in Scripture a couple of times. And every time, it's within the context of calling a person or a people to return to God. And it always also includes a promise. A promise that God's light will shine upon them, meaning that that they'll experience his blessing. We see this, for example, in the story of Jonah, where he's sleeping in the ship while a storm is threatening to kill everybody. And the captain comes downstairs and says, wake up, pray to your God that he would save us. Isaiah uses these words to the nation of Israel. He says, wake up, return to faithful following. And if you will, he promises, the the words of the Lord promise that our hearts will be filled with shouts of joy and praise back to God. And then here in this passage, Paul says this to the church. He says to the church, wake up, meaning to cast off anything that might be keeping you from experiencing new life with Jesus every single day. And so I invite you to examine right now in just this moment, any area of your life where maybe there is some unconfessed sin that needs to be brought into the light so that you could experience forgiveness. Is there any areas of your life where you need to to walk in closer obedience and wisdom to God for perhaps the next 30 days during this prayer time? If you do, I, I confidently believe that you will grow and mature in your knowledge and your love of Jesus. And that by doing so, you'll also be a strong light, a strong living example of Christ's light in the world. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus for every single person who has just started this journey today. I pray, Lord, that they will have a significant time of meeting with you and that the impact of that will be seen through multiple areas of their lives through this time of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for your promise that your light shines upon your people, that your light will illuminate the areas of our lives where where there's sin that is separating us from you and needs to be confessed that your light illuminates areas where we need to walk in closer step with you along the path of wisdom. And if we will do so, Lord, we will not just walk with you, but we will grow in our relationship with you. Lord, I pray right now, at the start of this 30 days of prayer, that the church, that sleeping giant, would awaken with power in order to glorify you and reveal you to the world. Amen. And now may God bless you as you continue in your time of prayer, praising God, repenting to God, asking of God, and yielding to him.